This is the music that uh this is a product of the music that I think of when I'm you know, when I wake up in the morning and I hear a melody in my head and this is the group that I play it with. Um this is also kind of my unique concept of music, especially from my instrument standpoint, because um having um jazz organ jazz organ bass that sounds contemporary sounds like music after after 1970s i think is pretty unique so it's special to me in that way and i think it's unique in that way and it's it's you know the creative thing that i've always wanted to do I mean, I like all kinds of different creative music, but I feel like this is something that has not been done by other groups. <laughs>
Thank you.
it's a um, the playing field essentially and most people agree has been leveled um, we all also work with singer songwriters um, and do a lot of recording sessions on independent releases that are crowdfunded Kickstarter and the like and when you work with a when you're working with that singer songwriter who their entire lifeblood is that project as it should be and they're not the type of artist or musician that's going to busy themselves by hiring out to play with other bands for money they're just con concerned with um, their own original project they they ha have it a lot harder I think in that um, they um, they're in the same boat with all the rest but they don't quite realize it sometimes and then you know it's p people like us who who perf who are working with them who also worked with singer X and singer Y a few months back and heard the exact same s scenario of like I, I, I don't know where this is all going I, I hope I reach my goal online um, this is really hard you know um, I can't take the full band with me I've got to do the coffee house solo uh, I don't have yeah I mean I, you know the all of the pressures of trying to bring um, so those are the people I envy the least in today's climate of this sort of cutthroat thing that you that you mentioned is especially now that there's there's really no industry to speak of um, I th uh, I think where Mike and I and, and Ken have it maybe a little a little better um, is that we're able to do a lot of these kinds of other projects we can be hoes <laughs> we can <laughs> perhaps I'm describing it unartfully but uh, that wasn't the word that I was thinking but uh, thinking more chameleon maybe uh, all right, all right. you know Fine. troubadour <laughs> ho <laughs> um, Anyway, it's 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 great to be able to <laughs> be a musical hoe. <laughs> to be a musical hoe. To be able to provide what we do for a lot of different people, and then also come back to this, and for you the know, money. For the money, <laughs> and a little bit of the glory.
That would be a great idea. It would be a great idea to only do one style of music on a recording. <laughs> or just or a show. Or even just as a career. Well, but I but I just can't manage to do it. <laughs> I did it. Yes, that's right. I did it. But it, even still, it's completely diverse. It's like I can't. I have a very hard time only playing one style of music for a whole recording, or even a whole gig, or even during a whole solo. I suppose. <clears throat> that's little, this. This lends itself nicely to that, though. Yes, it's true. Yeah. I mean, the gospel thing obviously is real easy to do. There's an easy gospel thing. There's an easy lounge thing. There's an easy, you know, kind of burning Jimmy Smith jazz thing. There, there's a lot of genres that are spelled out in front of me, and I just won't take the bait. I'm always, I always have to play a, a jazz tune every third tune, even when there's a bunch of people who only want to hear funk. I, <laughs> So, you know, or, or I'm playing for a jazz crowd and all they want to hear is traditional jazz. It's, it's like there's this, what's the word for it? Uh, what's that disease where you say the wrong thing? Tourette's syndrome thing. <laughs> you know, I know all they want to hear is traditional jazz. I see them sitting there, very happy to hear the traditional jazz. But I really want to play some funk now. So then we launch into TV show themes like yeah. Law and Order. Yeah. You know. I can't Which we do. help it. I can't help it. I can't. I can't behave. And just stay in one genre. <laughs>
Thank you. You can absolutely, I mean, what you can convey with written language and what you can convey with music can be the same. I mean, it's, it's to some degree, I think of it like abstract art and more concrete art, you know, like you can convey the beauty of a vase with flowers by painting a vase with flowers. And you can convey the beauty of a vase with flowers by having, I don't know, an abstract painting that's red and white with a little bit of red what mixed in with the white, you know, like whatever you want to call it. So really I think of, of instrumental music as being more abstract and leaving more open to the listener in a way that abstract art is. And language is a little bit more like realistic art in that it spells it out a whole lot more. So that would be the difference, and not n so both can can convey the same the, as much more less. I mean, ultimately, in my opinion, once you get into language, you're describing something. Music can describe what language cannot. That's the thing. That's what makes music unique. Now you can combine that with what language can communicate and then also communicate what language can cannot. But the whole purpose of language is to communicate what cannot be communicated in any other way. And if you can communicate in some other way, then why bother playing music? <laughs> 